I'm going to I'm going to shift to Kate now. Kate, you've been involved in state uh, geospatial strategic planning and development for about 15 years now, and along with building many complex uh, statewide applications and enterprise data systems. I really don't think there's uh, anyone else uh, that's worked more of these kinds of state level projects than you. So I'm, I'm curious, what are some of the big changes you've seen in the way states are thinking about their strategies, about their programs, and how they're creating and supporting enterprise class GIS resources? So what, what changes are you seeing uh, recently about that? Yeah. Well, a, a strategic plan has, has always been the best way to identify gaps. Um, those might be data gaps, they might be technological gaps, or those, you know, coordination infrastructure gaps, what you were talking about earlier, you know, those, uh, that, that network of collaborative relationships that a GIO might have with other agencies. So that, that infrastructure, the, the human infrastructure there. Um, so there might be gaps in, in those relationships there. But a, a GIO can use a strategic plan to identify those gaps and really close them early. And then they're in a position where they're prepared to respond to challenges, maybe, you know, challenges mm -hmm. like we saw in the pandemic, or take advantage of some of this funding, um, these funding opportunities that are out there and really affect change in their state and at, at the national level too. So um, the strategic plan has always acted as a foundation and it's very hard to act or respond efficiently without that plan in place. Um, so you ask, you know, what's different today? And, and I would say that the, the major difference or the, the evolution that I've seen is this universal recognition that success is, is not just about the data or technology. I think everyone is, is recognizing that the most successful states out there are the ones where the geographic information office is working side by side, you know, collaborating with those agencies and they're all working, they're identifying and working towards common goals. So, you know, for example, um, aligning and collaborating with the DOT or a broadband office, um, it really puts that GIO in a position where they can capture that available funding, you know, in that, in partnership there. So I think as you pointed out earlier, that funding may, it might appear like it's aimed at a particular use case, like, well, this is aimed at broadband, you know, what does this have to do with the, the GIO or, um, you know, it, it might be aimed at a particular agency. But what it results in is that statewide geospatial data or other uh, geospatial asset that benefits everyone, benefits many across the board there. Um, so, for example, like a broadband serviceable location data set, it, it certainly meets those needs for identifying addresses and locations for broadband, but then it's clearly relevant for 911 or for powering a state geocoder or for lots of other use cases that need addresses. So really, you know, what I see is the shift toward prioritizing those relationships, prioritizing that that collaboration infrastructure, and, and that begins to make a lot of sense. Yeah, thanks. You know, uh, while you were talking, you uh, you reminded me of a quote from Louis Pasteur that luck favors the prepared. So, you know, I think that's a lot about what strategic planning does for you. Um, I, I'm curious to know what what uh, what some of the synergies you're excited about with this new combination of App Geo and, and Sanborn f for our state clients. Yeah. Um... Well, we're really excited to be joining forces with, as, as John pointed out, another geospatial company. So while we're both, you know, purely in the geospatial realm, we're very, very complementary. Um, we we uh, it's been kind of amazing as we've learned more about each other. There's there's almost no overlap in in what we've done. So the new larger combined entity gives us a, a holistic perspective on some of the problems that our customers are trying to solve. Um, so for example, AppGeo is always focused on building tools to improve delivery of data or visualization of data, um, you know, analysis of data, you know, helping our customers make their data meaningful. 
but historically we haven't been involved in the data acquisition or the capture piece. It was sort of like we were we were the receivers of that data. Um, but now in partnership with Sanborn, as as John pointed out, we're covering that whole life cycle, you know, from the strategy to the data acquisition to the delivery and analysis. And it just feels like the whole geospatial landscape has just opened wide up. It's it's really exciting. 